My name is Janis Balodis. I was uh, living the Institute of Geodesy and Geoinformatics since uh, to, uh, 1994 till uh, 2013. And after that, now my youngest colleague, Gunnar Silobrius, is leaving the Institute, but uh, I will report today because he is not uh, available today. Uh, <coughs> Geodesy today is a, a, a science uh, which have uh, implemented all the modern uh, applications of uh, photonics, optics, <coughs> electronics, and computer science. And uh, all this uh, uh, is connected with uh, big data uh, collection and uh, uh, automated. Uh, functions to fulfill. Uh, the uh, geodesy is uh, widely used in all the world and it is an important uh, uh, branch of the, uh, for the uh, economy of all the countries of all the world and, uh, and uh, there are about three branches. One is to, to, to uh, Global uh, to control and monitor uh, global moni uh, uh, coordinate systems. Uh, then uh, the second is national coordinate systems, and third one is uh, um, for the national purposes to do the cadastre measurements, engineering for uh, different uh, building construction and else other. We are mainly working in geodesy and geomatics on the. Um, uh, uh, global uh, coordinate system monitoring and uh, on the uh, national geodetic network. In Latvia, there are uh, three universities where uh, geodesy is involved. It is Riga Technical University, which, which we have a close cooperation, and uh, many students are working in our institute, and uh, PhD students and uh, Latvian Agricultural University, with which we also have a good cooperation. Uh, according to the International uh, Association, there are the International Union of Geodesy and Geophysics, International Association of Geodesy, uh, European Geophy uh, Geophysical Sci uh, Union, and the e European Space Agency, UREF, which uh, coordinates the European coordinate systems and other um, organizations. About the uh, branches in, in uh, satellite laser ranging development, now in, uh, is about 40 years, when in uh, 1974, was developed the first satellite laser ranging system in the Astronomical Observatory of the University of Latvia. Maris Abele was the first person in this game and, uh, and uh, also Rubans, August Rubans is here, who was also the partner in this job and, and, and I would like to congratulate them with this 40 years anniversary. You can see here the satellite laser ranging systems all around the world where they are placed. There are eight NASA stations and in Europe there are also about this number of stations and Chinese, Russian, Ukrainian and other nations have the stations. In Nordic countries, there is Finland, Mitsuhovi, where also was working this station, uh, but now it is uh, out of uh, work. But uh, mainly this system is uh, useful, and, and since 1975, it serves for the uh, monitoring of the origin of uh, terrestrial reference frame. And the uh, main player, and with highest accuracy, is uh, satellite laser ranging systems. 
We had uh, in, 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 in astronomical observatory of the University of Latvia, and uh, we were about eight to ten people who were working in this branch. And uh, after this uh, split it, and in year 1994, uh, we quitted the astronomical observatory and together with Maris Abele, Janis Jatters, who is the main initiator of this project, we developed a new uh, system, satellite laser ranging system, which was placed in Yarragati in uh, Australia and founded by private um, uh, funding um, people. This uh, project uh, was about uh, two to three years long, uh, was successfully observed the observations, but it was a time when uh, GPS was released. Uh, for the civil use, and uh, all the people were thinking that it will be possible uh, to, uh, mm, to solve all the questions with GPS. However, even now, it is recognized that it is not so. Even uh, when all the global uh, GNSS stations around the world are working and detecting the, the fates, uh, in they are different from satellite laser ranging systems, about two, three centimeters, and it is not solved this problem yet. Uh, next project was also mainly developed the the, the mount and, and optics by Maris Abele, and uh, this is a satellite laser ranging system which was developed and and uh, in Institute of Geodesy and Geoinformatics and in year 2008. And uh, all the mathematics, all the uh, electronics were uh, made by the Institute of uh, Geodesy and Geoinformatics. And that is a strength of our people, that uh, this brain, how to track the satellites, to make the programs and the electronics, uh, it is our uh, strength in Institute of Geodesy and Geoinformatics. Uh, today we have uh, three uh, reports on uh, different laser ranging systems and three different teams are working on this and only it is uh, thanks to Arvid Arnolds who collected all of them together and uh, displayed them uh, on your, for your attention. You can see that uh, the test observations in 1988, uh, in 2008, which was uh, May, and uh, they were a very a good um, accuracy, which is which have uh, sub-centimeter accuracy for all the satellites, including uh, layer satellites, which is most important for the uh, monitoring of uh, coordinate systems, global. Uh, <coughs> and uh, it, it seems that uh, for our next system, which we are going to develop now, will be uh, good results and this question is solved. So the calibration of precision was about uh, two centimeters and uh, lower, lower tower satellites of the QC up to from four to ten millimeters and uh, larger type satellites up to ten uh, millimeters. This is uh, the picture where uh, on CCD metrics you can see here the <coughs> laser satellite, which is ball about uh, 60 centimeters in diameter at a distance of about uh, 6,000 kilometers. And on CCD metrics with these small optics you can uh, obtain such an image in order to track uh, the system. Currently the new system is developed and in this project doesn't participate Maris Abele. We did not achieve accuracy of, of pointing of about one second with all these previous systems. And in order to observe all the satellites in all the weather and in all the sky conditions when for example the satellites are not visible in the reflected sun, uh, light of sun, but they are in the shadow first. It is needed the blind tracking 
you cannot see, you cannot follow, and the uh, laser rising should be with accuracy of about one arc second. And the same during the daytime observations. The most powerful satellite laser ranging systems, which are working in war, achieve these aims. They are working during the day, during the full night, and they are capable to observe satellites looking at, at, at any time when they, they are visible or non-visible. And this is attempt to achieve this. They were used, uh, all the uh, CAD, computer aided design programs, and solid edge to calculate all the deformations, all the possibilities. The uh, optics are purchased from the United States. They are professional uh, camera. It's, uh, it's about uh, 40 centimeters, 16 inch diameter, and uh, the focal distance is about 4 meters. It is several times reflected. <coughs> so, uh, this, it, it, this work was done together with the Institute of Physics, which is located in Salaspils. And here you can see it is in Crimea, Astrophysical Observatory, obtained uh, on the plate uh, when the, uh, the comet. And we have developed it some many years ago the automatic star identification and they succeeded to increase uh, the velocity of plate reduction very highly and we used also for, for astrometric purposes in astronomical observatory of University of Latvia and this is the uh, mathematical basis on which is uh, developed this automatic satellite uh, uh, star and identification. And currently, we use the star catalog, which is about 20 million stars and uh, modern uh, star catalogs. Uh, we have tested this by using this uh, digital Zenit camera experimental model, which was developed also by Maris Abele. It was our last common work, and uh, it proves that uh, all the uh, uh, system, electronics, and, and uh, other uh, programs, computer programs, our computer programs are working well, and it is uh, successfully was uh, completed. Uh, well, about the uh, international cooperation, we are the members of uh, <coughs> European Position Determination System, which is developed by the uh, mapping and geographic authorities of Central and East European countries. And uh, there are, uh, you can see, this, uh, uh, this part of, of uh, Europe well, where it is uh, covering this. Uh, in Latvia, uh, we have uh, made observations and uh, from the permanent GNSS stations which are located on the roof of, of, of the buildings and uh, they are fixed antennas at about 24 sites in, in Latvia and about five sites in, in Riga. Additionally, there is also station of astronomical observatory in botanical garden and uh, one of them is also in Riga. Uh, about this UPOS, uh, about this UPOS, uh, it was also uh, this uh, in, uh, created in the year 2011. Uh, we had uh, established the uh, UPOS Combination Center to collect all the uh, data from all the countries when uh, each second has been uh, reached the signal obtained and all this computed regularly for each day and uh, we have used also our uh, ESA program one together with uh, in these uh, US countries and after currently it is in Eurogeographics uh, 
some section post scan uh, this system. But there is a result of this uh, is a UPOS combination center where our, our data is uh, there is our representative, Yumare, who regularly sent our data. And uh, this is uh, the result when you can see in all the um, uh, European countries which are the data collected. And we have presented data from the uh, University of Latvia uh, from year, starting from year 2007 till 2015. And uh, there you can see the horizontal movement of the Earth in Eurasian plate, tectonic plate. And here you can see the vertical motion. Of course, you know, Scandinavia and countries there is a land uplift. It is still also in Estonia, but in Latvia only in part. And, and also the zero line of land uplift goes through the Latvia. You can see the tectonic plate, uh, tectonic faults in, in uh, Latvia, and you can see that, that there is also some uh, place where there is more or less, uh, uh, and it goes through Riga. And actually, this part is going up the land, and, and this part is going down. And from GNSS observations, which we collect and continuously, we can make also the calculations, and this is by our uh, colleagues uh, cal calculated and so. And there is Riga. In Riga, we have uh, three stations here, which are uh, belong to UPOS. They are uh, antenna calibrations carried out. There is uh, nothing. And there is easting and there is up. But there is also two stations which doesn't belong to UPOS Riga. And one of them is a station which belongs to uh, uh, Latvian Geospatial Agency, this one. And uh, one station which belongs to Astronomical Observatory. Uh, it is, uh, it is uh, station Riga. And you see that these two stations and Riga, uh, and, uh, and there is a, this, uh, Oya name, and this is uh, Riga, you can see here the centimeters. And this curve, uh, and during the year 2007, when it starts, 2008, 2009, and 2014, and you can see how the coordinates were changing, and why this coordinates for Riga station, which is IGS, IGS network, so much uh, change. Then you can see the solution, the reason. There is a tectonic fault, and IRS is directly on this fault, and uh, the Riga station is closed also. And under the ground, there was before uh, some, some river, and this, uh, however, place is not very stable maybe. There was mod this uh, modeling uh, geologists, geologists Nikuni, uh, how it could happen if some earthquake will appear. And one of the topics which we are working is, is on ge geoinformatics and making um, geoinformation systems. But our team suffered a lot when uh, private companies uh, our best people took away and uh, it is uh, quite a lot weakened now. And uh, one of the last topics which are we working, it is uh, the geoid determination for Latvia. And uh, our PhD student who graduated already and defended her it is calculated this joint with a precision of 1.6 centimeters uh, RMS and this is in comparison with previous model which was computed also by one of our persons it was in 1998 made and, and 
uh, differences was that the five to eight centimeter that the precision. Currently, we have uh, already different projects. One of them is European structural forms about uh, one centimeter geo determination in eastern part of Latvia. Uh, orientation is to the Baltic Rail. We want to help to the this uh, uh, Baltic Rail, and that is why we, we submitted such a project and, and we are developing now. And another project is where well, we are working on this uh, satellite laser energy system, uh, and it was also on digital then telescope camera, together with Swiss people who are currently working, because Swiss were and German scientists were first who developed two, uh, two cameras and now we are interested to cooperate with them and they are interested to cooperate with them too. And this one is a pro project that uh, when was uh, uh, this uh, uh, telescope come, come first experiment carried out. We are working with research work, many students, uh, bachelors and, and uh, masters are uh, working on our uh, thematics and three persons recently who has defended the doctoral uh, thesis uh, and in our quantum uh, materials and our institute. And three more uh, doctor pretenders because they are in fourth year already now and more and nearly ready. One of them was the Diana, who just now was speaking about the digital Zenith camera. However, her topic is as the, uh, about the other, about the land deformations. Thank you very much to adults who will a very lot of work. By creating this project for Tonic Star, he is all just also <coughs> he had a very good opportunities to invite some colleagues from other countries and to make some consultations and cooperation. We participated in many uh, many <coughs> meetings, scientific meetings, we had opportunity to visit other countries and also we had the opportunity to purchase very important details for our research work. Thank you.